Tonight on the show, we will be talking about the future of Red Dead Online. And I know, some of you are probably saying to yourself right now, we've seen this topic come up a million times, people are always talking about it, and I think one can also argue that there is no future as well, if you want, but wait until you hear the most recent news from Rockstar Games. It's actually quite impressive how they continue to flat out ignore the very things that their own customers, fans, and players are asking for. GTA Plus, the new subscription service for GTA Online, is releasing soon, and this announcement only continues to prove that things are only going to get worse in regards to Rockstar Games. And if you have any doubt in your mind that this will make its way into Red Dead Online in some form, Think again, as I'm sure if this is even remotely successful and the financials hit anywhere near Take-Two Interactive's targets in regards to the subscription service, we're going to see this put into all future Rockstar Games titles and other Take-Two products. So let's get started with the discussion for today. If you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So let's talk about what GTA Plus is just so we can get that out of the way and then talk about why this would be so bad for Red Dead Online and why it's so bad for also GTA Online players as well if they're playing Red Dead Online and they're playing GTA Online. So Rockstar says that GTA Plus is a new membership program exclusively for GTA Online on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S launching on March 29th, which is only four days away and providing easy access to a range of valuable benefits for both new and long-standing players on the latest generation consoles. Being a GTA Plus member gets you recurring monthly 500,000 GTA Online dollars deposited directly into your Maze Bank account, plus the opportunity to claim properties in and around Los Santos that unlock gameplay updates you may have missed out on, special vehicle upgrades, members-only discounts, GTA money and RP bonuses, and more each month. Here's a breakdown of the benefits that GTA Plus members will receive in the first month membership from March 29th through April 27th. $500,000 delivered automatically to your Maze Bank account, the Principe de Veste 8, along with complimentary house special works upgrades for it before it's made available to purchase by the general public, plus the house special works orange trip and house special works CMYK glitch liveries. So already they're putting in early access before the general public in regards to that specific vehicle. The auto shop located in La Mesa introduces an assortment of gameplay updates from Los Santos tuners, and current auto shop owners can relocate to La Mesa at no additional cost. Wave LS Car Meet membership fees. Current LS Car Meet members with GTA Plus will be reimbursed $50,000 during this event period. Yacht owners can also upgrade to the Aquarius Super Yacht at no additional cost, and the Gusset Frog T and Broker Prolapse Basketball Top and Shorts will be automatically added to your wardrobe. The Conveyor Liberty for the Mammoth Avenger, HV VYAPC and the TMO2 Kanjali, and a selection of free paints and emblems for the auto shop, three times GTA money and RP on House Special Works Race Series, and double car meet rep on the Street Race Series. GTA Plus members can also take advantage of special GTA Plus shark cards that provide extra bonus cash from the PlayStation Store on the PS5 or Microsoft Store. Every month, GTA Plus will deliver a new set of exclusive rewards for members to claim. Just go to Legendary Motorsport, House Special Works, Maze Bank foreclosures, Doc Tees, and other stores found in the GTA Online web browser to obtain and enjoy each period's member benefits before they expire. And all GTA Plus benefits are provided in addition to our regular GTA Online events, which will continue as normal for all players. Sign up for just $5.99 a month starting on March 29th via the PlayStation Store on the PS5 or Microsoft Store on the Xbox, and you can cancel anytime. Also, stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire and the official GTA Online website for each month's GTA Plus special benefits. Now, the asterisk after $5.99 a month shows you, you know, it, to purchase GTA membership, you must have a copy of the game, etc., etc. Just a little bit of a disclaimer there for legal reasons and all that. But talking about all this, you know, we can talk about the rewards in just a second, but just from this, you're going to be paying $60 a year for this. If you hold the GTA Plus membership for $6 a month for 12 months, you will be paying $60 a year, which is the full price of this game when it was brand new, just to get a few extra things. $500,000 a month isn't that much. That's only $6 million a year. You could do a lot better than that. You can earn $6 million in only six hours of grinding Cayo Perico. Now, I know a lot of players don't like to grind Cayo Perico, but six hours of playing GTA Online and a fun mission to earn a million dollars every time or spending $60 for that money is absolutely 
not worth it. You're also not even saving that much if you were to buy the $8 million shark card as is, because you can get that instantly. And yes, that would be $100 purchase, but here you'll be spending that over the course of the entire year for $6 million and only spending $60. The other thing is, you know, maybe shark cards are failing right now and Rockstar's implementing this to get some extra shark card revenue from players. But the thing is, why don't they start increasing the amount of money that you're getting from shark cards? $8 million in GTA Online for spending 100 US dollars in 2013 was I think the fair $100 value because you could buy a ton of sports cars, this apartment, this massive garage, things like that. But now where every supercar in the game is costing two to three plus million dollars, an $8 million shark card for $100 is not justifiable at all. I would even go so far as to say that should be the $20 shark card purchase for 8 million GTA Online dollars. But here we are today with massive GTA Online inflation, and they haven't reflected that with the shark cards at all, so you can get the same value. You're getting scammed today, whereas way back at GTA Online's release, I would say that $8 million was sort of like a $100 value. I still wouldn't have recommended anyone buy the stuff anyway, but that's where we are today. Now, the other thing you can compare this to is what about Prime Gaming Rewards? Because they have that for GTA Online. They have that for Red Dead Online. Isn't this the same thing? Well, sort of. A lot of people have Amazon Prime and Prime Gaming is included with that, or you're paying for that outright through Twitch, but I don't think a lot of people doing that. I think less than 1% of the population who has Prime Gaming enabled has it because they bought it outright for those rewards. I think most most people probably have it included through their Amazon Prime subscription, which is just Amazon and not necessarily Twitch focused. The other question is, will GTA Plus or RDO Plus, if we were ever to get that in Red Dead Online, will that include paywalled content or early access releases for content? Right now, it's not that we know of. The only thing is that Principe de Veste 8, like players are getting early access to the house special work upgrades on it before other players who don't have GTA Plus get it but it will 100% morph into this type of thing over time where we're going to get new drip feed content probably early through GTA Plus and the GTA Plus subscribers are going to get that content before it's released to the general public and we'll probably see that very very soon I maybe within this next year or so everything happens gradually and then it happens suddenly and that's where we're at right now Rockstar has had an absolute failure for the players and fans and customers when it came to the trilogy GTA expanded and enhanced was neither expanded or enhanced it was actually downgraded in a lot of different areas and now we have GTA plus just shoving monetization further down players throats and it would be a different story if they were actually providing value for this type of subscription. You know, you get Microsoft's Game Pass and you get unlimited access to every single game on the Game Pass marketplace, right? And you could play everything for, what is it, 10 or $15 a month? A little bit more expensive, oh, you know, call it two times as expensive as GTA Plus. But in GTA Plus, you're getting a measly $500,000, which you can earn about 35 minutes of time in this game at this current life cycle. If you have, you know, Los Santos Tuners contracts or you're grinding Cairo Perico, whatever the case is, unless you're a level one player, you can very easily earn $500,000 thousand dollars every 30 minutes to an hour in this game and so you're getting like the cheapest businesses and the worst locations and you're just getting no value you're getting absolutely ripped off here i don't recommend anyone purchase it but that's where we're at and if you think that this isn't coming to red then online think again because i can guarantee you that it is that's why we all need to push back against this because we won't stand for it this is an awful idea to implement into the game and this is take two and rockstar once again just spitting in the faces of players but i would love to get your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about this you can also kind of compare this to the quick draw clubs in red Dead online because right now red Dead online has those battle pass sort of outlaw passes quick draw clubs which they change from the outlaw passes gta never got a battle pass yet and i'm surprised they haven't done that but i guess this is what rockstar's plan is but this is them charging players six dollars outright for it rather than charging in-game cash to get access to all these like rewards and upgrades and things like that not that these would be great battle pass rewards anyway but you get what i'm saying they're still requiring you to put six dollars into their system every month for you to get access to this type of thing so i would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best red Dead online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video.
Adios, amigos.